Yeah, do you want to come inside first? It's a lot cooler in here. The Navajos have two types of Hogans. We have the female Hogan and the male Hogan. This is the male Hogan. The male Hogan is different than the female Hogan um, because it's more round back here and then it has like a walkway going out to the east. There's three important logs of the male Hogan. There's this log here, this one here, and this one here. So those three are the foundation of this Hogan. The Hogan, the male Hogan has a lot of ceremonial purpose along with living purpose. So a family can live either in a male or female, depending on how they want to structure it. But a lot of ceremonies require the male Hogan. This was built, I would say, about six years ago. It has a very traditional structure to it. There's not a lot of, um, not a lot of nails, not a lot of wires or anything like that. It's put together and stacked together by clay on the outside. I believe the wood is juniper, and these have are from the mountain, Great Mountain. So these have been carved, they've been cleaned really nice. They've been shaved where it has to be for the structure. Picking the wood is very important, especially if you take a look up here, it needs to fork together and be able to, for it to be stable. So they picked really good the way it, it's curving it on its own and how it forks into each other right there. Is there any significance to the Hogan about the wood? When you're, when you're in here, uh, spiritually, philosophically, is there a reason that it's specifically cedar? There's no specific reason. A lot of families moved as they followed their flocks so we couldn't be picky and say, I need this specific type of wood because that could be hundreds of miles away. So it depends on what your resources are around. What really counted is the type of wood you use, it didn't matter, but you had to bless the inside of the Hogan before you start making it a living or use of it. So when this was finally structured, you would have somebody in here going to each of the main posts using corn pollen and blessing the, the home. So here we are, this is a female Hogan, is that right? Yes, this is a female Hogan. Typically the female Hogan has about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight sides. And female Hogans are usually turned in, can be more modern like this and is a living like a homestead, like a permanent homestead. Usually it's just a six-sided Hogan alone as a setting, but now that we have running water and um, washer and dryer, we need extra space for that. So as you can see, it kind of extends that way for those facilities and a kitchen as well. A female Hogan inside the six side or the eight sided Hogan usually has a bed on the side. One side is for the kitchen and a more like a visiting scent, like a couches and a table in the middle or your fire, fire stove in the middle. So it was like a small adobe one room house. You can have ceremonies in the female Hogan, all types of ceremonies. If it's the only Hogan available, they will use it and opposed to the male Hogan. Um, the female Hogan, if you has a lookout, like you can have as many windows as you want. The male Hogan, you just have that open structure on top to see the stars. The female Hogan is usually a closed structure, it could be an open structure as well. It can be made out of mud as well, rocks, wood. So this is the more modern female Hogan that we have available now. around Navajo land. You'll see a lot of female Hogans and all the, the homes such as Navajo Housing Authority is also, their concept is the Hogan style. It's nice to keep that tradition. It's very nice to come back and 
have a, a not just a four-walled or a four-sided house as you're used to like when you're living out off the reservation. 